Hey, Mackenzie, guess what? I've got some big news to drop. What is it? I've officially submitted the divorce papers. Surprise, surprise. Huh? Whose divorce papers? Our papers. What? Why would you do that? Our marriage has reached its grand finale. We're finally calling it quits. And from now on, we'll be nothing more than complete strangers. Hold on a moment. This is all happening all of a sudden. I feel overwhelmed and I can't fully comprehend what's going on. How do we end up in this situation? I don't recall signing any divorce papers. As your representative, I took the liberty of handling it all on your behalf. What? You can't do that. There's no such thing. With my exceptional handwriting skills, faking your signature was a breeze. Hold up, Vincent. You can't go down that path. That's straight up criminal. Wait, so they've already gone ahead and processed the papers? Does that mean we're officially no longer a married couple? Yes, ma'am. We are officially separated. <laughs> I need a second to process this. It's all happening so fast. Why do you want to divorce me? Ah, uh, it should be painfully obvious, but I guess I have to spell it out for you. I'm sick and tired of taking care of you. You're just not worth the effort anymore. What do you even mean by that? Isn't it common sense for a married couple to look out for each other? Besides, I've never really relied on your help. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself, thank you very much. In fact, it's usually you who constantly asks for my assistance with every little thing. Can you honestly claim that you take care of me? I highly doubt it. While I'm out there buzzling my butt at work, I expect you to at least handle the household chores. But what do I find when I come home? Absolutely nothing done. I have zero interest in taking care of some lazy freeloader who does absolutely nothing all day. What do I gain for that? Absolutely nothing. Well, I appreciate everything you've done for me and the financial support you've provided. However, I must say, I think you're being overly harsh. And this divorce is taking things to an extreme level. I've been putting my best effort into the housework. You know that, right? In fact, the place is always in excellent condition. Given the kind of job you have, I'd be better off hiring a cleaning service to handle the housework. It would be way cheaper, and it would give me the perfect opportunity to get rid of you. Well, if we're looking at it purely from a financial perspective, hiring a cleaning service might indeed be cost-effective in the long term. But let's think about what that implies for me. Am I reduced to being merely a cleaner for our house? Shouldn't a wife be much more than that? Sure, a wife can be more than just a cleaner. But she better make damn sure to maintain the foundation which is having a well-kept house. You know, back when we were living together, before we got married, I was constantly disappointed with the state of the house. I had this misguided notion that once we tied the knot, you'd step up and embrace your role as a wife. Well, surprise, surprise. Turns out I was dead wrong. Even after we got married, the house was still a filthy mess. Wow. Let me get this straight. You're saying the whole reason you married me was to offload your cleaning responsibilities onto me. I thought you loved me and wanted to build a life together. Well, fine. If that's your reason for seeking a divorce, I'll accept it. Even though I think it's pretty ridiculous. But let me remind you once more. Forging my signature on the divorce papers and submitting them without my consent is not just foolish. It's illegal. It's a downright crime. I think I have to have a word with my lawyer. It's utterly pointless to even try. When I say we're getting divorced, it means we're getting divorced. There's absolutely no room for argument or negotiation. Maybe that's what you want, but I have a say in this too. I will not be accepting this divorce. And I'm not backing down without a fight. I have a good feeling this marriage isn't over. Whatever you feel doesn't matter. The marriage is over, and that's a fact. I'll be staying in hotel for the week while I wait for word from your lawyer. 
enjoy your usual loafer lifestyle without me. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's about time. I was wondering how much longer you were going to take. Do you know how expensive this hotel is here? Wait, don't tell me you actually stayed in a hotel the whole time. That's way too extravagant. Of course I didn't. Are you stupid? Not even I have the money to stay in a hotel for a whole month. I had to crash at some friend's place every now and then. Sometimes I met a stranger that was kind enough to let me stay over. There were really some shady characters. But I'd rather that than see your face ever again. I see. Do you really hate me that much? It was far better than staying at home with you. Anyway, enough of that. I want to know how it went with the lawyer. I'm sorry to tell you, Vincent. As expected, you were wrong and what you did was illegal. What really? Just exactly what law am I breaking anyway? Surely, this would just be some kind of minor offense, and I wouldn't have to do time for it. I wouldn't be so optimistic if I was you. According to the lawyer, the law states that the forgery of signed private documents can lead to three to five years in prison. The moment you hand those documents in, you're liable to serve this charge according to what he says. What the hell? That can't be right. You must have consulted some dodgy lawyer or something. Copying your signature on some documents shouldn't be such a big deal. Why do I have to go to jail for this? If I decided to take this to court, it'll be an easy win for me. I don't think it would take more than 30 minutes to convict you. Just wait a second. You don't want to do that. Look, we don't need the courts to figure out a solution for this. Let's just talk about it. Me and you? What do you say? Okay, I'm listening. What do you propose? Seeing as the documents have already been submitted, we don't have a lot of options, to be honest. The only thing we can do is just have your testimony that the documents were true and that you signed them. What do you think? This solution benefits both of us. Think about it. You'd be super embarrassed to have an ex-husband that's serving a prison sentence, right? Not really. Doesn't bother me that much. If you were still my husband, it would be a different story. But the moment you go to prison, you're nothing but a stranger to me. You can be as disgraceful as you want, and it won't affect me at all. So you really think that your reputation isn't going to be harmed? Everyone likes money, right? Admit it, you need money, don't you? You have no job and no savings. For the longest time, you've leached off of me and my hard-earned money. How much do you want? A bit of extra money would be good, but I should be fine. I don't want to be a sellout. <laughs> Are you for real? I bet you're planning to be like one of those bums that leech off the welfare system. You're going to crawl around with the other cockroaches in this country. Don't be stupid. I'm not going to be doing that. I don't need it. Oh, I can't wait to hear your brilliant plan. Really? I'm dying to know how much you'll manage without a strong man like me to support you. Let's face it, you don't possess any money-making skills of your own. You've been riding my coattails throughout this entire marriage. This divorce is just a consequence of your laziness over the years. Maybe, just maybe, you learn something from all of this. Oh, I'm not the one paying the price. Make no mistake. You're the one losing a lot from this. As it happens, I've got quite a hefty income that you didn't know about. I'm teaching others how to properly manage their household online. There's a huge demand for it. You have no idea. What the hell? Who would pay for some useless course like that? What is the world coming to? Well, I wouldn't underestimate me if I were you. In fact, I'm earning a pretty decent amount. Even more than you. Oh, and here's the cherry on top. I've been so successful that I decided to start my own company. It's all about celebrating the art of being a housewife. I employ mothers who are at managing households, and I send them to busy households where the owners can't handle it all. So you see, I've been quite busy and independent, making my mark in the world by helping others. 
That sounds like a good business model. So it's really working out for you, huh? So you didn't need me after all? Nope. I stuck around with you because I loved you. But not anymore. I'm actually at my parents rearranging everything in my room right now. Wow. That is way too fast. I didn't expect you to move out this soon. Yes. So that's the reason why your money is not going to convince me. There's no amount you can give me that would satisfy me to change my mind. What other options do I have left? Well, how about you think of something? What is it that you want from me? I'll do anything. Look, I don't know, to be honest. After some thinking, I was considering a divorce also. Huh? You did? Why? I have to be honest with you. You've been an absolutely terrible husband this entire time. You come home in the middle of the night, screaming in my ear, demanding that I wake up and make dinner for you. And on those rare days when you actually have some free time, you don't bother spending it with me. Instead, you choose to go out drinking with your buddies. When you do come back, you try to show off and make the spectacle out of everything. You belittle me in front of them, telling me to whip up a meal with whatever we have in the fridge, just to amuse yourself at my expense. Now that I have the means to support myself without you, I don't see any reason to continue this marriage. Thanks for doing me a favor and handing in the divorce papers early. <laughs> don't act like you're above me. You don't make the decisions. I do. I want to make it crystal clear how little I need you. So while I agree with the divorce, I won't let you off the hook so easily. I want this process to be grueling and painful for you. First things first, I'm going to invalidate those forged divorce papers exposing your crime. That way, the court will have no choice but to hold you accountable, possibly even sentence you to time in prison. And after that, rest assured, I'll proceed with the divorce anyway, because truthfully, I have absolutely no desire to be with you any longer. You spiteful woman. You really want to punish me, don't you? First, they'll dish out your sentence, but because I'm filing for a divorce, they'll probably suspend it first. And because of your criminal conviction, no one is going to think twice about hiring you because they won't be able to trust you. You'll have no hope of getting a job. After that, you'll be away serving time. You'll be left broke and broken. I hope you weren't too attached to the house and the car, because they're certainly going to be taken. No, I've worked my whole life to pay for those things. They're mine. I won't have them taken away from me. You intended to get a divorce, right? This is how it's happening. I didn't want a divorce like this, and you know it. I wanted a divorce in a way where I didn't lose anything. I wasn't expecting my possessions to be taken away from me. Too bad. When we do evil, evil gets wrought upon us. You shouldn't have forged my signature, honey. I'll see you in court, Vincent. Dress nicely if I were you. They're not meant to, but judges do care about appearances. Well, I bet you didn't wake up today and think that was going to happen, did you? Looks like they're going to suspend my charges. I was there. You don't need to tell me. Oh, what a shame. I can practically feel your anger radiating from you right now. Your pathetic attempt to pin a criminal conviction on me has failed miserably. Guess what? I've walked away without a scratch, completely unscathed. So much for your little plan, huh? Too bad, Mackenzie. Looks like I won today. Now we are back to our normal lives. Here's to being a married couple again. Yeah, well, good for you then. If you lost your job, it would be hard for me to take any consolation money from you. Don't worry, I still have something up my sleeve. I'm not showing you what it is just yet. Go on, yap it up all you want. Your little tactics don't scare me anymore. I know you can't take a shot and actually harm me. Even if we're still married, I still wouldn't allow a useless slob like you waltzing back into my house. In fact, I'm hiring myself a maid. 
See? I don't actually need you. I'll be completely fine without your sloppy cleaning skills. Don't worry, Vincent. I'm fine without you too. You go and do whatever you want with your life. I'm not interested in what you do now. Don't act cool when I know you're suffering from this. I know you wanted to do me dirty. I'm not trying to act cool. I'm just pointing out that you're wrong and I'm sticking up for myself. Just keep barking, you old lady. I don't care what you have to say. I'm going to enjoy a nice quiet house. I'll even get some Uber Eats to celebrate. Well, they decided your fate quite quickly, didn't they? We both agreed to the divorce now. All that's left is the consolation money that you have to pay. I don't think the decision was very fair, though. Don't you think so as well? $30,000 is a lot of money for something as trivial as this. It may be trivial to you, but not to me. You committed a crime and a heavy one at that, so you deserve to be charged this much. I should have tried harder to expose the fact that you also want this divorce. They would have eased up on me if I did that. Well, things could have gone better if I just kept my mouth shut. In order to keep a good image, I said that you've always supported me financially. I think you might have gotten a big head about it. I should have embarrassed you in front of everyone and said I make as much money as you do. And more. I'm getting sick of you and the garbage coming out of your mouth. I can't believe I put up with it so much over the years. Well, luckily for you, you won't have to be with me any longer. We are now officially divorced. Don't forget about the consolation money. I want the exact amount paid as soon as possible in a lump sum. Thank you. And you can send it directly to my bank account. And I want a proof of payment, showing me that you actually did send my money. Shut up. I said I'll do it. I'll do it now if I have to. That's a good boy. So what's your plan from this point on? Are you actually going to hire someone to clean the house? That's right. I already have someone employed. I'm living quite comfortably with someone that actually does the job properly. Thanks for being so open to the idea of getting a divorce. Thanks for paying me the 30 grand, loser. I'm going to handle it very carefully. Enjoy your new cleaner. I used to think a housewife would do a good job taking care of the house considering she gets her meals paid for and a roof over her head. But now, I realize I didn't need you in my life in the first place. You can never do better than the pros. The company that dispatches these maids is the best of the best. It doesn't matter who they send out. They're always doing a good job. I haven't found one speck of dust in this house yet. Well, it seems that everything worked out for you then, didn't it? Once you pay off that consolation fee, you can go back to a normal life with your perfect house. That's right. I just have that pesky little fee left. I should thank you for our marriage. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't realize how much of a waste of money having a wife is. Well, that's just your opinion. I don't think everyone thinks the same way you do. There are marriages where the wife is also working alongside the husband. In those situations, both the husband and the wife have to come home and clean together. So your idea that it's a woman's job is a little bit outdated, don't you think? It's not like men can't clean the house either. I'm sure a man can wash dishes too. Yeah, thanks for reminding me of those pitiful couples. They are a disgrace to what marriage is. They always talk about the rights of a woman and how the times are changing. The progressive movement is making women get paid an equal wage if not more than men. It's an absolute travesty what's going on. I'll never agree with what the world is changing into now. Well, if that's how you think, then go for it. I'm not going to stop you even if I think you're disgusting. That old type of thinking doesn't apply anymore. You can say whatever you want about the world being different now. I know that any man is thinking the same thing as I do. We know we are stronger and above women. Well, I think you need to have a good and long conversation with a modern-day man. They'd be very offended by the things you have to say. 
even the cleaning services that you're using at the moment. Whoever is coming to your house to clean is working there and bringing money home to their family. Here you go again about that cleaning service. It's not really a real job, is it? Anyone can do something like that. Doesn't require any expertise. That's not true. It's a lot more intricate than you realize. They study hard beforehand with the knowledge of a mask they customize their cleaning style to the family's needs, especially when they get a short-tempered, cranky person like you. I was married to you for a long time. I know exactly the type of person you are. When things aren't going your way, you're quick to chuck a tantrum and get angry at others for it. I can see you shouting at some of the maids, too. So whoever is left with the fate of cleaning your house is probably going to quit within weeks. I think people would be happy if the opportunity to clean a great house like mine. Just ask the girl that has to clean my house. I've never had to get angry at her at once, and she's been coming here for a week now. I guess that girl has a lot of patience then. She must be paid very well to keep up with you. It's a testimony to how nice I am. I'm a good guy, and you know it. That's why she always does a good job. That's not true. She's not doing a good job because she likes you. She's working hard because I told her to. What the hell? What do you mean? Did you find it weird that I've been listening to your stupid, boring story this whole time? Don't you think there was a reason behind it? The cleaning company that you're currently using is my company. I made it. What the hell? What do you mean? It means the company that your parents are using and recommending was my company. I know exactly how your parents like the place being cleaned and where they lay out their furniture. So what you're saying is that I've been paying you money this whole time? Why didn't you tell me anything? Well, the money doesn't go directly to me. I still have to pay my staff and expenses as well. But in a technical sense, yes, you have been paying me the whole time. Thank you for your continued usage of our service. That can't be right. The likelihood of that happening is very low. I applied for this company through a pamphlet that came in the mail. Well, that's how we promote our business. We have our flyers distributed in the mail. In your case, however, I personally put the pamphlet in there for you to see. So, you were the one that did it all along. You set me up. I sure did. And not just you either. I did the same thing to your parents. I knew it would be easy for you guys to take the bait, especially with your mother. I've known for a long time that her husband is much like you in the cranky department. I knew the moment she saw our service, she would apply for it instantly. Additionally, to make sure the both of you used our service, I made the price on the pamphlet cheaper than usual. You're a real crafty woman. And I'm not saying that to compliment you. Crafty? Don't get angry at me for it. All I've been doing is making the right moves so that my business can prosper. Thank you for becoming part of our customers. We take your kind words to heart. We hope you continue using our excellent service. Oh yeah? I bet you feel so triumphant about yourself, don't you? Well, this will wipe that smirk smack off your face. If I have to pay money to you, I'd rather cancel. Are you sure your decision is final? Yes. Why wouldn't it be? With your high expectations, I doubt any other cleaning service would be willing to clean your house for you. We knew what you wanted, so we were able to perform the job. If I were you, I'd think twice about canceling your service with us. That's not true. I'm not asking a lot when it comes to the house. I'm just asking for the basics to be covered. Trust me. I got feedback from her staff. You are a hard man to please. But that's not the only reason. I think you should stick with our service. We actually charge a much cheaper rate than other cleaning services. You're actually in an excellent position. It can't be that good. I'll pay a little bit more extra if it means that I don't have to give you money. I'll let you check the local cleaning services yourself. You'll find out very soon how expensive this can be. Jesus, the price is on these cleaning services. This is insanely expensive. 
I told you, didn't I? I know how much you earn. Then you couldn't possibly be able to pay off this amount. Your only option is to stick with our service. But I have some bad news to tell you. I've been getting sick of charging you a cheaper price this whole time. Plus, your demands are too much for my staff. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cancel your contract with us today. I'll also be canceling your parents' contract as well. What? No! If I don't do this, you'll never appreciate the type of work that we have done. Now you'll have to do it on your own. No. Wait. Please. I can't clean this house. I don't want to do it. I'll accept a normal contract if you just continue the service for me. I'm sorry. We aren't interested in serving short-tempered cranky customers. Goodbye, my former husband. I decided to end the cleaning services with Vincent and his parents. Vincent's mother reached out to me, expressing her need for my services to avoid dealing with her husband. Initially, I felt sympathy for her situation, but she played a part in raising a son who mistreated me. I might reconsider providing my services after she teaches her son how to treat women with respect. As for Vincent, it appears he's found another cleaning service. However, due to the compensation he has to pay me, he couldn't sustain the service for long. He attempted to ask his parents for money, but they turned him down. It seems his house is on the verge of becoming a garbage dump. On the other hand, my own business is thriving. With the extreme demand, we're expanding our reach to new areas. I'm committed to utilizing the knowledge and experience I've gained to assist numerous families in improving their living arrangements.